Roche Clinical Pharmacology explains modeling and simulation. Joe and his project team are often challenged when it comes to determining the best design for a clinical trial. There are many questions that need to be answered, but not all scenarios can be tested. Annie, the clinical pharmacology representative, tells Joe that modeling and simulation approaches can help the team design the best studies. It's used in many different areas to help with decision-making, including weather forecasting, finance and the aviation industry. Aviation engineers are asked to design new aeroplanes that will go faster at a lower cost. But not all aeroplane designs can be built and tested, so they develop computer models to predict how aeroplanes fly and then run simulations of the different designs. In the end, the aeroplane with the best results during the simulations is built. Annie describes how a similar approach can be used in drug development to help project teams make more informed decisions. By using computer models, Joe can predict the outcomes of different clinical trial design options. Joe decides to try this approach with his new drug. He wants to know how long the clinical trial should last to conclude the drug efficacy is superior to the standard of care. Similar to the aeroplanes, existing data and knowledge are integrated into a computer model. Models use mathematical equations to describe and link the different pieces of information. It usually takes weeks or months to develop a model, depending on its complexity. As new pieces of information become available, models are updated. Once a model is found to properly predict known system behaviors, such as reproducing observed efficacy to current treatments, it's then used for simulation. In simulation, what-if questions are addressed, like what would the expected efficacy be if the study was shortened by three months, and what would the effect of the drug be if a different dose were used. By simulating different scenarios that cannot be tested in a clinic, clinical pharmacology contributes by saving time and costs while ensuring the robustness of the study design. Joe has seen firsthand how modeling and simulation can help project teams design informative studies. He now knows how long his clinical trial should last, what the expected efficacy is, and what the effect of a different dose will be. He and Annie know that modeling and simulation can also address challenges beyond clinical trial design options, such as a target identification, disease understanding, competitor comparison, and the probability of success in late stages.